Hello everybody and welcome to <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Guys, I don't know why it's been so hard for me to do these introductions. I've been trying like to do them properly, but I'm a I'ma make an intro for myself, right? And I'ma add it in every single time before I actually open up my introduction because this this is too much. But hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of She Talks with your girl, Leah Nicole. And today we are going to be talking about a very, very interesting topic that I've been itching to speak on. If you have not subscribed to me, then you better hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you get the notifications every time I post a new episode of She Talks. Today, I am giving you a new, new topic but it's an old topic. It's a topic we have obviously spoken about before to many of our friends, to many of our co-workers even, or even to your partner. But let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about my hate for the word toxic or anything in relation to toxic things. One in particular, maybe I would say is a toxic relationship or a toxic situationship or toxic problems okay but my real problem with having this whole toxic thing is this generation has filled our minds with the idea of normalizing anything that's toxic specifically toxic relationships now this generation has filled our minds and our brains our souls and our spirits a toxic relationship is the way forward like um for example Let's start off with examples because I don't like talking without backing up my stuff. But a huge example of this would be Rock and her man, Blueface. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Rock on Baddie South. Anyone who watches Baddie South, let me know. But I love that girl. She is so dope on that show. And the fights, you know. You know, I love me a little bit of reality TV. But... In real life, obviously, we see the stuff that she deals with with Blueface and the extent of what she's had to go through just to stick into that relationship with her man. Now, I personally think that is a bit crazy and I wouldn't go all the lengths of doing that for a man. But because of this generation and the way that we have been normalized to see this as a good thing, a lot of people glorify her behavior and how she acts towards Blueface. Now, don't get me wrong, it takes two to tango, so I know that it's not rock that's just doing this herself but it's also blueface's actions which causes her to act in such a crazy way and that it can also be blueface that's you know putting her in a position where she has to be toxic or he also becomes a bit toxic as well towards her but i don't understand why this is being glorified as a good thing like having loads of arguments with your partner always feeling negative about the relationship and then you know what i mean it even happens in like not in a celebrity way but in an everyday basis now this one is directly for my girlies i know probably the man them also have same issues with their mans but i'm speaking directly to the girlies here now you know that some of the girlies in here have had to like always constantly tell your friend to leave this particular person right and some way somehow they never seem to leave that individual alone now obviously for them on their side they can tell you oh it's just because you don't know the situation that we're in and you don't know the position that we've been through and why we do this and why i act like this and why i may tell you things and why i always end up going back fairs that's fine but what i'm saying is let's say we're speaking and we're having a conversation and you're telling me the constant behaviors that this person is giving you and you're obviously fed up with it, of course you would be, but if I tell you, and this is a thing for me, especially to my friends, but if I've already told you Wagwan and what I think and my whole like entire opinion about it, I'm not going to keep telling you again and again and again. Because at that point, it's toxic. Like, what you are doing with your partner is toxic. I can't keep on telling you the same thing. You're going to obviously have to see it for yourself. I can only keep preaching the same thing and the same thing over and over again until for myself it becomes tiring because you're obviously not taking my advice and you're not taking what I'm telling you head on and just moving on from the situation. Me as an individual, I always ask for advice. And when I do ask for advice, I tend to take it on especially when I feel like it's a good advice, like it's good advice that's going to help me from the situation that I'm in. 
So when I'm speaking to my friends, especially when they're speaking about their problems and I'm telling them, okay, well, you already know how I feel. You already know Wagwan. I've already told you this song before. I just don't want to sing it again. You know what I mean? And it still ends up being the same thing. It kind of irritates me because it's at a point where it's like, come on, sis, I've already done told you. And I know some people out there feel the same way that I do. But when I say this, I don't say this with judgment to other people. I don't say this with judgment to friends. I don't say this with judgment to anybody because I know that sometimes it's hard to get yourself out of the cycle that you're so used to, which is why I'm saying that the way that this generation has involved toxic in everything and possibly anything, especially within our music, preferably hip hop culture, TikTok, social media as per usual, has gained its way of making toxic seem so secure and so good to the point where it's become normalized in people's relationships and the way that people handle themselves as a person, you know? For some people, being toxic has become their personality trait, in quotations, because I think that's a really mucky, um, really really mucky type of personality trait to have how can you gain anything from trying to be toxic or gaining something from wanting to be toxic but a lot of males as i per se because i was just about to talk about future and how he's i quote the toxic king a lot of males mix misogyny with toxic it just doesn't go hand in hand and like i'm saying with the influence of music today with quotes and lyrics as I had to pull up some receipts for this so you guys don't think I'm capping. But you not a wifey, I can't fall in love with no mm from Future's album. And another one, buy a Birkin for that before I buy her a flower. <laughs> and it goes, I can hear your tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at yourself because you can't leave me alone. Now I'm not saying that some people will take these and literally act and behave on these type of lyrics. But it does give you some sort of, you know, backstory of why some people just behave the way they do now. Because they just see it as a normal thing. Some people see being toxic as a normal behavior and it's not. You would rather want to be in a happy and healthy relationship with another person than to be in a toxic one where you may feel trapped and feel enclosed in your own relationship. Not cute. So I'm going to end it up and wrap it up because I feel like I could be waffling for ages about this whole situation and this whole thing. But personally, I feel like this generation and the society has just been clouded with the idea that toxic is the way forward and that's how people should behave and that's how people should be. And that it's accepted for other people's behavior to be the way that they are just because they're toxic and they're cold hearted and and the fact that this is just the way that they are. All I have to say is, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever feel like you're ever in a situation like this and you feel like someone's just telling you that they behave a certain way and that's the way that they are, you should never settle for someone just saying that's the way that they are. As human beings, we all grow and we evolve to be people that are different and we will continue to grow. So saying that this is just the way that you are is not acceptable and it's not something that someone should just take in a relationship with somebody else. Another thing that I can quote on is... You should all want to attain a certain good position and a certain healthy position in the way that you live your life. Whether that be your career, whether that be your family life, whether that be the people that you surround yourself with, you should always put yourself around good energy. And I think the way that it's just been normalized to be positioned in a place where you should be in a toxic relationship and you should be in a toxic position it's just not steady man i think of anything uh no that's not that's not what i'm I'm going for it's not what i want to do that's not where i want to be in life and i think everyone should just attain that type of idea and that type of mentality but each to their own sure each to their own that's all i have to finish this off with i don't ever want to feel like i'm being judgmental do you get me that's the last thing i want to do that's the last thing i ever want to feel like when people listen to these talks, I'm just being an old little, you know, just commenting and judging everybody's lifestyle. Because I honestly, like, I, I always repeat this in a lot of my talks. In the talks that I've done recently anyways. I'm not one to judge. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm not one to judge. I may tell you a joke, but I never tell you a lie. Thank you very much, guys, for listening to the talk. It may sound hectic as per usual. It may not sound right, but um, yeah, girl, you already know what it is. And um, I'm gonna go, and I will catch you guys later. See you in another episode of She Talks. Bye.